Hey, this is Andy and Denise here at Calico Bluff, about 120 miles south of the Arctic Circle at our homestead on the Yukon River. And uh, we just had a great air mail delivery here at Calico Bluff. Uh, welcome to our yurt here. This is a, uh, a yurt designed for artists and residents out here at Calico Bluff. Uh, we're out in the middle of nowhere on the Yukon River. And we have just installed a standalone uh, off-grid system for this yurt. It's run by Iron Edison Batteries. Uh, the system was designed by Iron Edison uh, specifically for me at this yurt. And that's one of the great features of working with them. They have experts that will help you design a system that works specifically for your needs. So we're really excited today. Uh, Denise is very new to all off-grid uh, installations and electricity. Uh, she's basically like I was five years ago. She didn't have a clue how electricity works, how the solar works, how the controllers and the batteries all fit together to make something that creates power from the sun and is useful to you for running lights, power tools, uh, charging cell phones, computers, pretty much anything you do living in a city we can do right here at this yurt and we're out in the middle of the wilderness in nowhere land. So uh, anyway, I wanted to just kind of get into the real basics, the nuts and bolts of what, um, what an off-grid system entails. And it starts with the sun. Here in Alaska where I live, uh, the sun is energy, it's free energy, and it's silly to haul fossil fuel into a remote place when you can take advantage with a bit of an investment in equipment of the sun to provide you with all the power needs you need. I've done a lot of research about battery and off-grid systems and initially I started out with lead acid batteries. They were cheap, they were affordable. I didn't know much about uh, how they all work together. I was just learning how to get uh, into living off-grid. Um, after five years those batteries completely died even though I took good care of them and I was really <coughs> disappointed and frustrated with uh, the amount of money I spent and how little they lasted. So getting on the internet, I did a lot of research and I stumbled upon Iron Edison. Um, these are batteries that were designed by Thomas Edison at the turn of the century. And the reason he designed the uh, chemistry for these batteries is because of the inherent problems with lead acid batteries. He designed a battery that runs with uh, basically an alkali solution for an electrolyte along with an iron base core. And uh, what he ended up developing was something that was uh, about four to five times longer lasting than a lead acid battery. Handles the cold. These batteries aren't affected by cold the way lead acid is, which means that they last between 25 and 30 years depending on your particular use. So a battery that's stronger uh, can be discharged to 20% as opposed to uh, 70%. And uh, a battery that stands up to the hard, rigorous uh, demands of living in Alaska in a place where it goes down to 50 below zero. The most critical elements that I needed for my system here was a battery that was able to produce, a battery that could handle the cold, and a battery that have, would have longevity, a long lifespan. I live very remotely. Uh, it costs a lot of money to get a system into here, and it's something that I only want to do once in my life. Uh, after messing around with lead acid batteries and the frustration with that, I decided that I wanted to spend just a little bit more money and get a battery that was going to last as long as I do here at Calico Bluff. So the beauty of this is that when we decided to build this unit here, um, Denise was able to help me set up the solar panel, set up the batteries, do the wiring, learn about running DC lighting, also running AC lighting and so the whole system is just like you would have at your house anywhere in the world except it's powered by the sun. One of the most important things about my life here is I want to be self-sufficient. I want to be able to take care of myself not only for our food needs, gardening and hunting and fishing, I want to be able to create heat from the woods around here with the trees and I want to be able to create free power and it makes sense to use uh, renewable resources, wind and solar, to create the power needs that we have here at Calico Bluff. For me, uh, anytime I'm doing something, I try and simplify down to the most simple process, the simplest system I can. Iron Edison 
it's still probably one of the most durable, long-lasting, resilient battery technologies. Uh, there's a lot of new technologies with lithium ion and all these other things, but they're very complicated. For a person who doesn't know a lot about electricity, uh, it'd be very complicated. There'd be a lot of cost involved in having someone install a system like that. With the system that we've designed with Iron Edison here, uh, a layman like me, I'm kind of a jack of all trades, but a master of none. I was able to figure it out with their support how to install this system and install a system that's going to last as long as I'm here for many, many years. So this has all been a new experience for me, understanding electricity, how to harness it from a solar source and install it into a remote location, into a remote system that's here. And the huge thing that Iron Edison did for me was simplify it, streamline it. It made sense. Things really made sense and a lot of uh, resources and referencing was readily available. And between that and Andy's teaching and his ability to learn it through Iron Edison sources really facilitated my learning from the ground up how to install a, an electric system from the solar sources here. The important thing about this to me is that Denise was able to learn this. She's not an expert. Denise, like me, had to learn from scratch. And you don't have to be a certified electrician to install your own off-grid system. It seems Absolutely. scary. It seems very complicated. But the folks at Iron Edison are incredible support network. They helped me design it. They walked me through um, problem solving if I had some problems. And they helped me they helped me by answering every question almost immediately whenever I contacted them. I live very mm -hmm. remotely. The only access I have to talking to people is through the internet. Um, and it's, it's very difficult to communicate. And they responded very quickly with 100% support. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a small system like what we have or whether it's an extremely complicated um, large company or manufacturing based system they will walk you through every aspect of it. So tremendous wow. support coming from Iron Edison. Yeah, it made a very, what seemed like a daunting task, very doable. One of the first things you need to do if you're gonna go off grid is you have to decide how much power you're gonna use. What are your needs? Um, for this particular application, we didn't need a super supercharged system. We needed a system that could run some power tools charge um, cell phones, computers, and provide light for us year-round inside the yurt here. So talking with the engineers, we came up with using these uh, smaller 300 amp hour systems. This is a 12 volt system instead of a 24 volt system because everything's very self-contained here. Um, along with these batteries at 12 volt, uh, we also designed the inverter that we needed and the amount of solar panels that we needed to keep this uh, system up and running during the long summer months as well as the long winter months here. Um, so the first thing that I, I learned was they have a lot of really great support um, yeah. publications. And so I was able to read about the chemistry, uh, the different applications of of the iron Edison batteries and get a sense of what kind of a system I needed and uh, what was going to meet my needs. The next thing that, that came was uh, just a, a book that talks all about how to wire everything up. So this, this basically gives me a schematic of my batteries, uh, the solar panels coming into it, and how to do my wiring inside the panel. So it was very simple for me to just take this unit, mount it on the wall, bring in the wires for um, solar panels and the wires going out to the generator and to the AC and I was done. It was that simple. Uh, everything's labeled, everything's very clearly marked on schematics, it's very easy to follow through and install the system. It basically took less than a day for me to install the system once the equipment was here. So uh, very efficient. Yeah, one, one of the really great testimonies about the, the uh, toughness and the longevity of these batteries for living in Alaska was I had a serious injury that kept me away from my home for about a year. Um, I was down in Florida recuperating. My battery sat up in the cold in Alaska. 
uh, throughout the entire winter with just a solar panel uh, and the wind turbine to trickle charge them from time to time. Uh, one of my biggest concerns when I came back after that injury was what kind of condition was my batteries going to be in because it's a pretty substantial investment to, uh, to buy a, a, a off-grid system. When I arrived at my homestead, the batteries were not completely fully charged, but there was no damage to them. They managed to sit for uh, close to a year without any maintenance at 20, 30 below zero. And then also they went through the heat of the summer as well. And they performed flawlessly, no problems whatsoever. So if I had had lead acid batteries, I would have been investing in an entire new system of lead acid batteries. Uh, so that alone convinced me that I made the right choice to, to spend a little bit extra money in my investment and gain something that was going to last a long time. It stood up to the rigors of Alaska and that's about as harsh a condition as you can put these batteries through. One of the first things I did when I designed this system was uh, because our yurt is well off the ground, we decided to build our solar system way up high so that we could take advantage of the full sun year-round. So in the mornings we have this these panels facing basically north-northeast. Right now we're coming up on noon so we can rotate the panels around and gather sun during the afternoon hours and then you can go ahead and lock it down yep. there. And then in the evening if we want to take more advantage we can swing around to the north northwest uh, and take basically about 20 hours worth of solar charging. Um, we're about 20 feet off the ground right here so uh, we built things pretty strong using well casing, four inch thick wall pipe, pretty simple basic uh, mounting system here and for our system we only needed four panels. These are uh, I think 290 watt panels each. Yeah, we have four of them. They come down into this junction box they each have their own breaker and then they combine and this then goes down under the floor up into the control box the main brains of the system it goes through a midnight controller which monitors the battery voltage and then sends that to the charging system to keep our batteries topped off we also installed a uh, lightning uh, protection system right here because we are off the ground quite a bit we do get a lot of thunderstorms up here in Alaska so this is just a little added protection but as you can see it's very simple and we also built in the ability to add more solar panels if we need to or want to we have a, a third breaker here that would be no problem to wire this breaker in and add another two panels to give us uh, even greater charging ability so a very simple system uh, i built this all myself it's just uh, steel welded together uh, you can find plans for this online uh, no problem if you're a little bit handy or you could go to a welding shop uh, wherever you live and they could put this together in a few hours. Uh, for me, I like building things myself, uh, but it was no problem to build and install this system here uh, 20 feet off the ground. So a little bit unique system for, for solar panels, but um, taking full advantage of the, the 360 degree sun that we get living 100 miles south of the Arctic Circle. So living in remote Alaska, Iron Edison has made life extremely comfortable and basically we have everything that people in the city have, only we live in a very remote setting. Thanks to Iron Edison. Thank you, Iron Edison.